Hey everyone, it's Jojo and today I'll be unboxing the December box of Tokyo Treat. So Tokyo Treat is filled with tons of Japanese candies, sweets, chips, all that kind of good stuff. And it's been a while since I've done an, an, an subscription box unboxing, uh, but the good folks of Tokyo Treat reached out to me and asked me to review their December box. And I know Front-facing camera is probably the best way to do this, but I haven't showered yet and my face and my hair is a mess But my mouth will be really close to the mic for your ASMR needs But uh, yeah, <laughs> when I try out all the candies and stuff, but no, it won't really be that close I just want to eat my candy and sweets and shame. Okay, just leave me alone <laughs> All right, so anyway here we have the Tokyo treat box and it's actually pretty hefty. Um, I have done a Yume Twins um, unboxing before, but this one is actually a bigger box than that one if I recall. Uh, actually, it might be the same, but I don't remember. It's been a while. So let's just open this up and see what we got. Oh yeah, treat. Okay, so on the, on the top flap it says treat yourself. Hashtag Tokyo treat. All right, so we have a, a letter up front. Hello Tokyo Treat family, in your box you may find a delicious tonkatsu flavored umaibo, but you might not be able to find it in your booklet. That's because it's not there. Oopsie! We accidentally included a description of the similar ebi mayonnaise flavored umaibo instead. We apologize. Okay, so just a correction of what's in the otaku holiday booklet. So this is Tokyo Treat, volume 48, December 2019. <laughs> Not 2009, 2019. This is a terrible unboxing, I'm very sorry. <laughs> all right, so let's open this up. Or maybe we should go through all the stuff first before we... Yeah, let's go through the stuff first and see what we... Um... Uh, let's just find out as we go along. All right, so... Ooh, okay, so this looks familiar. This is a, like a Kirby soda. I've had a similar one to this before when I was in Little Tokyo in LA. Um, it was like a grape jelly drink, but I think this is a cream soda. So let's take a look at it in the booklet. Yeah, so Kirby Melon Cream Soda. I actually want to put that in the fridge first before I drink it. Yeah, there is a ton of stuff in here. I don't think I'll be eating all of them in one video. I think I'll just pick and choose right now because I don't want to open them, have one, and then like have the rest go stale because I'm not eating them right away. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm eventually going to try them all. So I also noticed in the front of the booklet, the flavor of the month is orange chocolate, which is really, really delicious. And I think the main candy is down here at the bottom. So this is orange Kit Kat, orange chocolate Kit Kat. Man, Japan has so many like cool flavors and stuff. Like I had the green tea one before and that was delicious. I Let's just try this one right now because I know I'm gonna eat this today. <laughs> okay, so they're all individually wrapped so I won't feel bad about them going bad or anything. But yeah, let's try it. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> wow, you can really taste the orange in that. That's actually really, really good. Mmm. Ooh, and it gets that... You kind of get that sour feeling on the side of your cheeks because of the orange. Yeah, it's really, really good. All right, I'll save this one for later. Let's read the description on the orange Kit Kat. Not while my mouth is full of chocolate. Hold on. <laughs> this month, we're bringing you the most festive Kit Kat flavor there is. Orange Kit Kats. It isn't the holiday season without a chocolate orange. Yeah, I give that, let's say, let's do a rating. Let's say, uh, I give that a 10 out of 10. This is definitely really, really good. Kit Kats, by the way, are my favorite candy bars. So I'm, uh, I'm kind of biased, so, but I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're really good. All right, let's go over here to this right side. Um, Morokoshi Wataro. I'm probably butchering a lot of these names and uh, I don't care. <laughs> All right, let's find it on here. So spicy soy sauce corn snacks bring a little heat in this cold season with these soy sauce snacks with a twist. These corn snacks have a spicy kick to them should help warm you up on the colder winter nights. I like spicy food. I don't really think it's gonna complement the chocolate and orange I feel right now in my mouth. <laughs> um, but I will try this one a little bit later. 
because it feels like um, like it's, it's a it's like a bag of chips, so it's not it's gonna go stale if I if I open them up right now. I'll go back to those. And ooh, what are these? They look like they look like chicharron, like <laughs> like tiny pieces of chicharron, but I'm pretty sure it's not. That's fine. Um, caramel taro. Any fans of caramel out there? Then you've lucked out with this caramel flavored peanut shaped biscuit. You won't be able to stop chomping on them once you start. Well, I was totally off. They're not chicharron. <laughs> um, caramel biscuits. Ooh, yeah, since I have something sweet in my mouth right now, let's try it. This is how it looks like. It really looks, it's okay, so it's in the shape of a peanut, but it really looks like, like a chicken nugget, like a bread and chicken tender or something, but let's try it. Hmm. That's okay. You could taste a little bit of the caramel, but it's more biscuity than, than, um, than anything. I still like that, but I think Kit Kats are still better. Um, I'll give this a rating of, let's see... I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's okay. Alright, and these look like wafers here. Calbee. Calbee chocolate chips. Christmas is a time for indulgement, and what's more decadent than chocolate covered chips? If you haven't tried it, then it might sound strange, but the mix of sweet and savory is perfect. So these are potato chips with chocolate covered in <laughs> Um... Wow, it's kind of like, you know, when you dip your french fry in a Wendy's shake? That's what it reminds me of. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I say I'm not gonna try everything, but I am gonna try it. <laughs> I'll put like chip, chip clips on them so they don't go stale. Oh, wow. Okay, check that out. Oh, it really is a potato covered in chocolate. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Mmm, I don't really like it. <laughs> I mean, it's tolerable. Um, I mean, it's good in certain ways. It's just really strange put together. One more, just, just, just to try it. Mmm. It's like a weird, alluring flavor. Like sweet, like salty, um, like salted caramel a little bit, but with chocolate. Hmm. I definitely like that better than the caramel one, so I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. Alright, these look like Pop Rocks. Oh, I think they are! Look at that! Pop Rocks. <laughs> Pachi Pachi Cola Popping Candy. Make this Christmas go out with a bang. A uh, go with a bang. This cola flavored popping candy will give a refreshing and satisfying crackle in your mouth with each mouthful. Try opening and closing your mouth to make some amazing pop- amazing sounds with the pops. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's try it. <laughs> I'll put my mouth really close to the uh, the mic. You guys could hear. Oh, look how it looks like on the inside. This is different. So this isn't like your regular American Pop Rocks. There's like little, um, these little tablets in there. I mean, I'm guessing these are like the Coke flavors. Maybe this is um, like a sweet type of flavor. Can you hear that? Uh, can you hear that? I'm sorry, I gotta be honest. I don't like the flavor of bubblegum. And I think that was bubblegum flavor. So no. <laughs> um, the Coke flavor is pretty cool. I really like it. Uh, yeah, I really don't like the flavor of bubblegum. Mm. Yeah, not eating that anymore. <laughs> uh, 3 out of 10. Alright, next up we have this bigger one. This is from One Piece. It looks like um, like a chocolate filled like biscuit or something. Or cookie. Yep, One Piece cookie. One thing the Christmas season has is food and lots of it. So you'd better have an appetite as big as Luffy's to eat all these snacks. Luckily, this chocolate cookie is tasty enough to fit in after a Christmas feast. I think, yeah, these are individually wrapped so I could open this. Oh, look at that. Cute. <laughs> are they all different? Oh yeah, they are. Let's look at all the different um, artwork on there. I don't watch One Piece, so I don't know. Oh, there's that one. Okay, so these two are, are duplicates. 
Uh, let's pull this one out. This one's pretty cute looking. Chocolate filled cookie. And here it is. And there's the inside. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hmm, what should I rate it? I mean, it's a. It's like. Kind of tastes like your average snacky time cookie. Give that a 5 out of 10. Alright, and I see um, Splatoon here. Ooh, this looks cool. I really like the packaging on this. Looks really nice. Splatoon gel candy. Ever wonder what the colored ink in Splatoon tastes like? No? <laughs> Come on, be honest. Okay, yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, this might be the closest thing. The snack even comes with free stickers. What? Oh, is this like a DIY one? Oh, it is. Oh no, maybe not. No, okay, it just comes in these little packets. Oh, check that out, oh, so cute. Aw. All right, so, okay, we got green, pink, and another green, maybe that's it. No, it's, yeah, we got two of the same. So let's try the, the green one. Ooh, is this candy? <laughs> is this supposed to be candy? All right, let's try it. Ew, oh, it's gooey. Mmm. Let's try, okay. That's really weird. <laughs> it's like the inside of a gusher, you know, without the outside. Like if you just wanted to eat the inside of a gusher, that's what it, that's what it tastes like. <laughs> oh, that's what it feels like. Mmm. This video is, yeah. <laughs> Best video ever. All right, okay, so I think this one's a DIY one, which I've done before in the past, like a long time ago, if you guys have been following me. Following me, oh my gosh, that, that gel candy, it's like making my mouth stick together. Anyway, <laughs> so this is like one of those DIY ones, but I think I'm gonna do it in a different uh, video because I think I gotta get water and stuff. Where is it? So it's this one right here, uh, Hora Dekita. Oh gosh, <laughs> ice bar DIY kit. It might be cold and icy outside this winter season, but that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy some ice cream, especially if it's handmade hand by you. Create your own soda flavored ice bars with this DIY hand kit. All right, so I think I'm gonna probably save this for a different video. Oh man, my fingers are sticky because of that gel candy. All right, so there should be instructions inside here about the DIY ice bear. There you go, the popsicle. All right, add liquid candy to the empty tray sections. Okay. All right, sorry, no, okay, so I don't need water or anything. Maybe I'll save this for the end of the video. That way I have everything out of the way and uh, I can show you guys how to do that. So no rating yet. I got to give that a rating later on. And let's see what this is. Oh, it's like a chocolate bar with a Dragon Ball Z themed. Oh my gosh, I'm like the most terrible person to do this unboxing because I don't watch anime. Here it is, Dragon Ball Mini Choco Bar. This Choco Bar might not help you to get your wish, but, if it, but it might give you the energy you need to keep searching for those elusive Dragon Balls. This Mini Chocolate Bar snack will help you to keep your power level over 9,000. Does it even say over 9,000? Oh gosh, it would be really cool if this was like a protein bar or an energy bar. And it said, you know, like, level over 9,000. That would be great. That would be great. I'm not going to try this right now, but, um, so no rating for that. And we, we're coming down to a lot of these little, little, littler ones. Gosh, that, again, that gel candy, like, it's just stuck. <laughs> so we have, like, a, a waffle crisp. I love waffle crisps. Chocolate waffle. Ever seen those delicious looking waffles served in cafes and anime? We couldn't ship you that, so we brought you the next best thing. Oh, come on. <laughs> a portable chocolate waffle to snack on any time. Ooh, so if you got a sweet tooth, just pull that out of your bag or your pocket and munch on it. And I see another Dragon Ball Z. This is Dragon Ball Super Card Gum. Card Gum? Ooh, so there's cards in here. Okay, so let's see what we get. So I'm not going to chew the gum because that would be kind of rude, you know, chewing in front of the mic. No, I'm just kidding. But let's see who we get. I think I already revealed it. What's this? Is this the gum? It is the gum. Wow. That looks like, like the communion cracker at, at church. Anyway, <laughs> who do we have? 
who are these people? I don't know. <laughs> is that Goku with purple or pink hair? Yes, I know this, this is definitely Goku, but he has like pink hair in this one. Maybe it's a different level of Super Saiyanism? I'm sorry. If you <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, th these are the two cards we got. And what you get is this gum right here. Okay, so this one is, um, is the tonkatsu uh, flavor in Umaibo. Ooh, I love tonkatsu. It's my favorite type of ramen. I just like pork in general. Ooh, let's see. What is it? It's like a, cr oh, I think it's like a cracker that's tonkatsu flavored. That, <laughs> oh man. So this is, it says ebi mayonnaise, but it's actually tonkatsu. Um, let's see. But I don't know what it is. What's in the umaibo? I guess I'll just have to find out, right? Oh, it is like a cracker. Okay, so it's like a giant Cheeto. Okay, looks like a biscuit. That's not suggestive at all. Let's try it. Oh, it's so weird. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. It's like you expect it to be like a biscuit, something sweet, but it's like really salty and it kind of tastes like ketchup. Not ketchup, but like that, um, like the sauce that they put on, um, takoyaki. I don't remember what it's called. Or like, um, what's that one? Oh gosh, I just ate it the other day. What is it called? Okonomiyaki. That's what it tastes like. The, the sauce that you put on it. It's supposed to be tonkatsu. That's so weird. I can't stop eating it. <laughs> oh. A lot of these flavors have like a weird alluring taste to it because like you expect it to be like kind of like like you expect it the way it like it looks like I thought that was gonna be sweet or like some things like the potato chip with chocolate on it there's like a weird alluring flavor that you can't stop eating <laughs> but this one I gotta give this like okay what's the rating on this I love tonkatsu but because of like the weird experience it gave me I gotta give that like a seven <laughs> that was so weird <laughs> Alright, next up we have, um, what are these, eggs? <laughs> no, they're not eggs. I'm just like messing around at this point. Uh, Kumamon Sparrow Egg. They are Sparrow Eggs! Oh my gosh! Has brought you a present this Christmas. A famous snack from Kumamoto. These bean candies, oh, they're beans, okay. Are well known in Kumamoto Prefecture and are the perfect snack to both kid and adult parties alike. So these are egg flavored beans beans? I right, just gotta find out then. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. It's like those, it's like when you eat like a Jelly Belly candy and it's not the flavor you expect it to be. All right, all right, let's try it. No, oh, it just tastes like a peanut. There's no egg flavor, at least none that I could recognize. It just kind of tastes like a peanut. Meh. All right, we're coming down to the wire. I think this is another like card thing. It looks like, feels like there's crackers in it. So it's Detective Conan and it comes with a character card and a cracker or a chocolate wafer. But let's look at the card, let's see. Whoa, that's a big card, okay. You know, I'll, I'll eat this one. I'll eat this one. Like, I'm too deep in it now. I got it. I just gotta eat it. Mmm. Tastes like a wafer. Is this our sticker? I think this is the sticker that we get. And, um... Oh, no, that's the card. I'm sorry. This is just, like, the backboard for the packaging. So here's the card that we got. That's cool. I really like um, a lot of Japanese candies and they, they give you a prize. Uh, unlike those like Cracker Jack boxes those with those cheap little prizes in, in them. But at least, you know, you get that Beyblade gum shooter. You get like collectible cards and stuff. D DIY candies. I mean, that's fun. I'm just gonna leave you right here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so we got two more. We got Naruto. Or Boruto. Boruto energy gummies. The Christmas season can be tiring, so a little energy boost can be handy. Don't worry, Boruto has you covered with these energy drink flavored chewy gummies. Believe it! Do they really give me energy? 
Gosh, these need, this needs to be like a Dragon Ball Z thing and not a Naruto or Boruto. I don't know what the difference between them two. I'm sorry. You guys are like cringing at me right now. Whoa, it's like a sticky hand. Are you serious? That's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's let's eat the star. Do they really give you energy? Come on. Here's the star. Let's save this one for later. Like B12s in here or something. Tastes like a gummy candy. Alright. This last thing we have. Crispy chocolate. Chocolate flake. Have you ever made your own chocolate cereal snacks before? Then this snack might be a little nostalgic. Made with crunchy chocolate flakes, the simple yet tasty chocolate flake treats are delicious with every bite. Oh, so it's like if you took fruity pebbles and mashed them, or kind of like um, a crispy, um, gosh, oh my gosh, crispy, those uh, crispy treat candies, uh, thingies, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I'm so old. I don't remember the name of cereals from my childhood. But yeah, just remember, just like imagine if you did like uh, fruity or uh, chocolate pebbles or something and mashed it into a little cake. Mmm. Oh, I need some milk with that. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need some milk with that. <laughs> no, that's pretty good. I would just throw this in a glass of milk and then like let it dissolve and then like, I'd drink it. Do you ever do that as a kid? Just like as a snack? <laughs> um, not even make yourself a full bowl of cereal. You just put it in a cup and then put some milk in it. Make the milk turn into chocolate milk and like just have the, you know, the cereal get so soggy you could just drink it. Am I the only one? No, I can't be the only one. All right, and I said I would save this for last so we could try it out. Got the instructions here. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Add the liquid candy to of the empty tray sections. Add the powder to the other empty tray. So we'll do liquid here on the left. My tray is kind of crushed. Hopefully it doesn't spill over. I'm kind of curious what this tastes like. Oh, really sweet. Mm. <laughs> That's really sweet. <laughs> All right, here we have the powder side. Just don't get it on the liquid side yet. Whoa, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Mistakes happen. There we go. Just brush that over. So we'll do, we'll do one pink and one blue. This is so messing up my diet, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 good enough. All right, so dip into the liquid candy first. I think that's coated enough, and then put it into the powder. So you're kind of like breading your your candy a little bit. I hope I'm doing that right. All right, that's good enough. <laughs> oh, that one's kind of deformed. All right, so let's do it for this one, and then I'll try both of them. Oh no, it's going into the liquid. Oh well. It's all gonna get eaten, by the way. Don't worry. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Not the best looking <laughs> little popsicle. That was terrible. Wow, I am terrible at this. But uh, yeah, let's just try it. Wow, that is really, really sweet. Really <laughs> too sweet for my taste, honestly. Mmm. And it's really chewy. <laughs> Am I supposed to chew it or do I just like look it like a popsicle? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> That's really sweet. I don't know if I want to like eat it. It's like making my, like it's making my, uh, my jaw tingle, you know, when you eat something sweet or something really sour. Wow. Oh, I'm still working on it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Why didn't mine look so good like that? Look at this, um, look at this picture. And then look at mine. Perfection. All right, so one last thing I wanted to do just to look through the rest of um, the uh, the booklet. Oh wow, that, um, that popsicle candy, there's like a menthol aftertaste, so my throat feels really cold. That's so weird, okay. So like it kind of simulates the, uh, the coldness or the refreshing um, taste of a popsicle. That's so weird. <laughs> Alright, so is Christmas celebrated in Japan? 
And uh, I've read over this and for Christmas, it's not really like family orientated. It's more about like couples and like staying in and being cozy. And you guys could pause it if you want to read the whole thing. But, yeah, I like that concept of uh, concept of Christmas where you just like kind of stay in and not really do anything and just kind of forget about responsibility a little bit and just, you know, order pizza or something. Here we have uh, some classic anime characters that I don't know, except for this one. I really did like Ranma <laughs> growing up. Uh, discovered Japan. So we have some Japanese words down here. Holiday, Yasumi, Winter, Fuyu, Snow, Yuki, Santa Claus, Santa Kurusu, Christmas, Kurusumasu, Decorations, Kazari, North Pole, Hokioku, Hokioku and Reindeer, Tonai, Tonakai. I'm, wow, that was, yes, perfection. And on this side, we have a photo challenge. So if you take a picture of your favorite, like, holiday thing or, like, a decoration or, or something, you could win this, a Hatsune Miku figure, I guess two of them, and runner-ups will get a Pokemon keychain and one free month subscription. And um, I forgot to mention, you get a three month subscription if you get the grand prize. And if you are subscribed, you're automatically entered into a um, like a, a raffle and you can get one of these awesome prizes. So we have a list of them down here. And we have photos of people who have been subscribed to Tokyo Treat. And if you take a picture of yourself with the hashtag Tokyo Treat, you can uh, be featured in this booklet. And yeah, I think that is it. Oh, okay, so scan me for a surprise. So go ahead and pause if you want to scan that. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. So yeah, it's a surprise. <laughs> and yeah, that is it. If you guys are interested in Tokyo Treat and trying out some awesome Japanese sweets and candies and chips and all that good stuff, uh, click on my affiliate link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was a really weird video, <laughs> but I still really enjoyed doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching as well. Uh, once again, click the affiliate link if you want to subscribe to Tokyo Treat. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.